All right, guys, <clears throat> got this Kubota delivered yesterday, and the guy that uh, delivered it had the genius idea of clamping the bucket with the grappler, which was awesome, except I've never dealt with this before, and I watched three or four videos, so I thought I'd make it simple to show you this time. But So this is your STD flow. Um, this system set up to uh, relieve pressure by when you push back on this, it actually um, lets the air pressure out on the, on the machine side. So that's awesome. It's an awesome little thing. But what happens is the guy that used the grappler before didn't let the pressure out of this line before he uh, disconnected it. So these were high pressured and I could not get them on this grapple. I am a big guy and I worked on it for 30 minutes pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, couldn't get on there. So I'm going to show you the easy solution. There's a lot of videos out there about taking this apart in a vise and doing other things, but there's a much simpler way. All right, I'm back. So to make this simple, literally go get a three-quarter drive and find out whatever, imp whatever implement you're using and go to an easier piece to grab because these are so wide right here, you can't even get channel locks on them. These little guys right here, you got a high side and a low side. All I did was put that... that uh, wrench on there. I put a little towel down there to make sure I didn't get too much uh, hydraulic fluid on everything. And I just cracked this loose right here. Barely. I only turned it a quarter of an inch and very little about the size of a quarter came out of there. And that took the pressure off. And then I did the same thing there because you have an upside and a downside. As soon as I did that, these things right here popped on there like they were with no effort whatsoever. So hope that helps you guys out. This is a Kubota SVL 75, it'll work for a 95 also.